Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. Guys, I had to take a walk because I'm just constantly facing this realization of something that's just very uncomfortable and it has to do with the business of medical. So you guys probably know that I have done a lot of videos for companies about their products, about their services they provide, and almost every single company that I have ever reached out for, for some sort of help further down the line, almost every single one of them just puts the screws to me. And I'm, this is a fact. And some of you guys that are gonna be reading that or watching this video, you're probably working for some of these companies. And the thing is, is I am not trying to make money on any of this stuff myself. But you see, the thing is, is when, when there's things that I'm getting a quote for, there's something called market level, okay? Your market level is what an item will sell for. So let's say it's an MX-40. Let's say it's an MX-40 that is, let's say it's worth $3,000. That's its market value, which means I can go across the market and find that object openly for about $3,000 with the same options. Now let's say I reach out to some people that I've established some good working relationships with. Maybe I've done videos for these companies and I say, hey, it's Justin, I'm looking for an MX-40. Now this is just one example, okay? Mind you, I keep getting disappointed. So let's say I'm reaching out for an MX-40 and they offer it to me for 3,200 or 3,500 or 3,800. Let's just say 3,800. Mind you, I already told you that the market value is $3,000, which means I can go someplace and find it for 3,000. Why is there such a price disparity? And why is it that I have a price disparity and I'm not even trying to make money? Sometimes I'm just trying to solve people's problems. I'm not trying to make money on these. My markup is gonna be minimal and almost a pass-through, which means I take the quote from somebody else and I literally give it to my customer to say, hey, here's what you're gonna get and this is gonna solve your problem. You know, because sometimes you just gotta solve their problem quickly. But every single time that I have done videos for companies, they screw me. And I, when I say they screw me, it's because, think about it, if the market value's here and they quote me above that, let's say, for the purpose of business, let's say that I want to mark it up too because, hello, I have an income. I have to pay for my income. You know, I'm not even trying to make that much money, if anything. And that's the crazy thing about this whole thing is, is sometimes I'm just trying to break even on something. But if I do any sort of markup whatsoever on it to something that's already priced a quote to me personally, that's above market value. There's no meat and taters there. There's nothing. There's nothing but bone, okay? And this is just something that constantly keeps happening. It's like, hey guys, remember me? I, I you know, I've done videos for you guys. I've, I've helped you guys find people. I'll post your job listings. I, man, I've helped so many companies out across the medical industry. And the thing is, is when I need some sort of help, they always, always screw me. Almost every single time. So guys, there you go. That's the medical industry in a nutshell. There's only one company, and that is based out of Dallas, who has ever done me a real solid, and that would be IMED, out of Dallas. And that's because you know, they've been really good. Uh, Avante also has done me some solids. I'll give them that. Avante has done me solids before as well. But guys, pretty much every other company, every third party company that sells medical equipment, I'll find a customer that is looking for something. I'll place a quote. Let's say I want five uh, B850 monitors and I get a quote that's like, three or four hundred dollars above market value for each unit. Who am I gonna sell that to? It's already above market value. So I, I just don't get it. 
this industry just really frustrates me sometimes. But uh, just to let you know, there are a couple companies that do some real good work. They believe in business relationships. IMED's one of them. I've done you know a lot of stuff with them. Avante has also done me some solids in the past, you know, with training and stuff. So, you know, it's always a pleasure doing business with them. But guys, I'm just trying to change the narrative when it comes to how we do business going forward. There's got to be a lot more relationship. If you buy a medical device for, let's say, eight, $900 on the used market, you put your time, effort, maybe even parts into it. You want to sell it? I get that. Let's say you sell it at eighteen hundred. Why are you trying to sell it to me for three thousand? I'm the guy that's been trying to help you, man. Anyway, there we go, guys. That's my frustration for the day. Medical companies. It just every single time. I, I actually expect it now. In fact, uh, I'm outside now because you know my my family is tired of hearing about it. Like whenever I reach out to a company for some extra assistance on something. Like they always give me a quote that's just, just way up here. It's, it's not even reasonable. But uh, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. That's my complaint for the day.